Thanks, Alexa. And now we're here with the newest addition to our communication department, Dr. Duncan. Hi. How, how are you? Well, thanks. How are you? Good, good. What stood, stood out to you um, with Cabrini and what made you apply here? Well, a couple of reasons. You know, I heard about the job through a colleague of mine mm -hmm. and I was, you know, ready to start working. And, and I um, came and visited the college. I looked over your website. I looked at a lot of the media that the students produce also. And the things that appealed to me about Cabrini were, first of all, that there's a lot of emphasis on learning real skills. And you can see that when you look at the media that the students produce. They're really learning how to do video, how to do audio, how to write. Um, so that really appealed to me. And the second thing that appealed to me was that it was small classes, that I would get to spend um, quite a lot of time getting to know the students. You yeah. know, I wouldn't be teaching 300 students at once. I'd be teaching 20 students at <laughs> once. So we could have a real conversation. Um, and for me as a teacher, that's a lot better and a lot more fun than having a really big class. Okay, that's nice. Uh, what are your goals for this year? For this year, I just want to get through it. No, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm hoping to really bed down the, the first few social media classes. We're teaching the COM 231, which is um, community engagement and social media for the first time this semester. So I really want to establish that as a, one of the requirements for the digital um, communication major. So I want to get that sort of settled as one of the um, requirements and then start building the syllabuses and building up the rest of the program so that we have a good flow through the major and that students are really learning like the skills, techniques, and also learning a bit of the theory about what they're doing. Okay. And what do you think you can offer the students here at Cabrini? Well, quite a few different things. You know, first of all, I think I can offer them uh, a really good discussion of some of the theory of mm -hmm. the new media that we're going to be working with because I think it's very important, you know, given how quickly platforms change given how quickly websites come and go, I think it's important to understand the, the theory behind them and how they work. Um, so I think that that's something that I can get and bring to the students. Um, I also have a lot of experience myself creating digital media, um, building a website from nothing, building a newsroom for, for an online publication from scratch. You know? So hopefully that's something we can also talk about um, in, the, in the years to come. All right. Well, let's check in with some of your students from um one of your classes and see how they're doing. I'm taking Dr. Duncan's social media class and I'm really excited about it because I've had like internships in social media but I've never had a class in it so it's kind of cool to put what I've learned in my internship into the class and take what I learned in the class and bring it to my internship. I don't find it as schoolwork. Uh, I know a lot of people my age find social media as something to branch out and kind of get away from schoolwork and how I can relate that to actual learning ability. She kind of came into class guns blazing like really like giving us like real hard on like the dates and times that things are are due and I think I like that you know she's kind of setting the tone for the rest of her career here with Cabrini. So. Sounds like they're really enjoying your class. Yeah that's good to hear. Well I'm John French on location for location now back to the news desk.